know I certainly am. A curiosity box is a monthly subscription box which is all about science and luckily I love science and I'm so excited to open this for the first time. And also I'm home educated and this is perfect for me because I can learn about science the fun way. And it's called the Curiosity Box. And by the way, these two lines aren't actually meant to be there. That's us covering our address because we don't want you to know. So these are just little bits of sticky tape to cover our address. But this is what it looks like on the front. So I'm going to just go straight into it. Three, two, one. Ta-da! It's a white box. I love it. Okay, I think I need to open it a bit more. Here's the opening grip. I got it, I got it. Ah, uh, yeah! You can't see it right now, but it's this. It's purple, and it says the curiosity box or a sticker. <laughs> but what's inside the purple? I hear you are. Ooh, I'm so excited. There it is. There is an interview about a scientist, a real life scientist. How amazing. Look at it. And it also has advice on my favourite thing. It's so amazing. And also, it's what's inside the box. So that's everything that's inside the box. I just forgot to tell you, this box is all about electricity. So there's tons of circuits, which I wanted to show you now. Circuits, I'm so excited. But this is an old picture of cars. When they were so old, so old. <laughs> I just made myself giggle a bit. But with this, this is activity three, and it's how to make electric artwork. So I'll wait to do that. And this one is activity two, and it's how to make static electricity. And this one is ah, activity one, sparky sculptures. So I'm not going to do any of these because that will be a bit messy. What I'm doing is this, which is really crumbly. I'm making a lot of noise here, but activity two, static electricity, which is, will be really fun. So let's get straight into it then. So, we are doing static electricity, activity two. I hope this will be easy because we're just trying to do a quick activity to show off to you technically. Hopefully this will look good. You blow up a balloon and go to your head. What you get in this box is you get one, two, three, four. Four paper plates and some blue curvy sequins, and I don't know what those are for, or probably for decorating or something. And also four balloons, two blue ones, an orange one and a yellow one, and also two ping pong balls. So ping pong balls. Whoopsies. <laughs> so we it says the curiosity box. I've chosen challenge two on this card. Do you know why? by when I was bouncing up and, up and down. I love them because they're so amazing. But challenge two is ping pong ball races. So I would try to go that. So it says, your mission is to have a ping pong ball race using static electricity to roll your balls. So number one, charge both ping pong balls and a balloon by rubbing them at the same time with your chosen material. Put the ping pong ball on a hard floor and to chase it across the floor without touching it. And use the balloon to chase it across the floor without touching it. So I'm not going to race them, I'm just going to test my theory and we're going to see how many different materials can work. First, I'm going to use my blanket here. I don't think that, oh, oh, it's time to get static 
you know, I, it works a little bit. I can kind of feel the static if you feel it on your hand. If you rub it again, you can kind of feel the static on your hand. And you move it around near your hand. I can actually feel it. But I don't think that'll work. What's static? Hmm. Aha! My hair! I'm just going to quickly take my clip out. Out. And, um, well, maybe this will work. This might make my hair go really messy. It certainly works.